So I'm a mum now and I think that brings a whole new level onto wearing makeup. Time is really of the essence. Like makeup is a tool to make you feel beautiful. I think heritage is just an innate part of who we are. Our identity is something that we should celebrate. For me, makeup has just become almost like an accessory, literally like a handbag or a pair of shoes. We all have our own hang-ups and I feel that makeup has been my secret toolbox to adding that dash of spice or bright pink wherever it's needed. And this whole experience um, of motherhood has really made me realize just how incredible women are. What a luck that you came to New York. I know. Before we launch this yeah. new YouTube. Do you live in London? Yeah, so I'm from England. I'm Indian and I've been living in London for the last 10 years working. And your parents were born in India? No, so my parents were actually born in Africa. They came to the UK in the 70s because of this crazy president that were throwing out all the Indians that were living in Africa. Britain kind of were taking taking the Indians in because they, it was a British colony at the time. But it's really crazy because when I tell people this story. People who are not Indian and don't live in England, they're like, wow, that's just so interesting. But there's actually such a huge community of East African Indians that now live in the UK. We are British and we're English in a sense, but we do hold on to everything Indian, you know, just like the, the food and the, like when I got married, I had a big Indian wedding and things like that. My dream is to go to India and I oh, think I was yeah, I from India in another life. I'm so attracted by this culture. You would, you would just it, love it. Uh, I'm sure. Really, you would. I'm sure. Um, but yeah, it's such a rich culture. It is. It's very kind of over the top and I think growing <laughs> I like up, that. yeah, <laughs> Maybe I think, why. yeah, and sparkly as well. Yeah, and colourful. Love, yeah, <laughs> it's been like a process just being more involved in that side of me and, and yeah. you know, embracing in, in my culture and in colour and things exactly. like that. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's really one of the reason I wanted to collaborate with you is because I think our differences make us so beautiful and I can get inspired by your philosophy and your culture and yeah. your mind and and then we become all together much more like a mix of different cultures Definitely. and I think that makes us much more rich so yeah. do you think so in that the videos you're going to do for our channel do you think that your heritage will be a big source of inspiration heritage will be an important part but I think sheer color and making sure you know like your philosophy about wearing makeup, we, you want to you want to let the makeup complement you and how you feel and how you look, not let the makeup entirely wear you. I really want to identify and explore colours and things that really work with my skin tone and complement and bring it out and kind of have a play with that. Not you know something that suits someone with a different with different hair and different skin and different coloured eyes wouldn't necessarily be the best look for me. So I think it just brings that different outlet and can hopefully you know other girls girls with, with similar skin tone can identify and, and I will for sure be doing some things will, that will be culturally relevant for sure. Even though our complexion or hair colour is pretty close, yeah. there's still some differences mm. in the undertones, in the darkness of the hair. So it's amazing for me to work with different women because then we can you know, translate looks we love so we, they can fit you know yeah our 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 skin color and our and our hair color Definitely. and so that's why i asked you for this video is there a look that i did in my videos that you like you actually sh showed me one of my first video ever <laughs> was it the red lips one yes i'm yeah. like walking in the street with my marinière i don't know how you say this in english the stripy top yes yeah 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 very and french <laughs> yes and i'm like putting the red on and I was thinking oh, it's good that you picked this one because actually for you, I mean, of course you can go with a bright red. Yeah. But I kind of wanted to show another kind of red yeah. that will look so stunning on you mm. and how you can create a sort of ombre. Because I think the, the chance to be a bit darker mm. olive skin is that we can wear colors that are what I called 
dark and bright at the same time. Yeah. And it doesn't look like such a heavy Too statement. Too intense, yeah. So we can really play with this. And uh, you with your darker hair than me, you mm. can even play more with this. Great. That's why I was like, okay, that's interesting. She picked this. Let's let's talk about it. Yeah. So for your skin, you're not wearing anything. I'm a fan of skin and, and I'm also a fan of what I call the story of the skin. Yeah. Not history in French if we say history. I usually say when you do dark lips, you want kind of the rest of the complexion to be pretty bright and luminous. Mm. So it doesn't bring any darkness out. Yeah. So that's the only reason. But I feel like if you do like a clean makeup, yeah. to me, that's not even something I really bother. Good. So I see that you're using Laurent Merci, which I also really like. Mm. I grab your own concealer because you know you're here with me you have your own product <laughs> slight pigmentation on my forehead i've always had it but it got worse during my pregnancy it's kind of just there i do cover it up with concealer but it, it doesn't it doesn't bother mind. me yeah. too much i'm gonna like show i like to do this like kind of show where i apply by not blend you know applying and then blending right away yeah yeah so we can show like overall where are the zones where we apply the concealer. Mm. This around the lips is something I always do because we always pigmented there. We have more darkness, more veins, more yellow tones. Mm -hmm. So it's very important and I think it brightens us the entire face yeah. to put it there. I put a bit here to plumb the cheeks because if it's a bit more bright, it's gonna catch the light mm. and look more plumb. And a tiny bit here to remove the shadow we all have. Yeah, Using, do you always use a beauty blender? Well, I use my finger a lot, but oh, cool. in the winter where I have to cover a bit more. So I go pretty close from the lips. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna blend everything here. And I pat a bit more on the eyes. But then I'll show you something I do, because I like to keep some shadows. The good news about having yellow undertones, mm. it's what I call very charismatic. Oh, nice. You bring this glow. The secret to balance and to look like super healthy and luminous is mm -hmm. to have pink blush. So that's why I always use pink blush pink in my blush. videos. So for you, that's really the thing I would do. The only difference uh, between you and me, actually, mm -hmm. is that I don't need to warm up my skin mm -hmm. because when I go more pale it fits my overall look so it's okay yeah but for you as your your skin is supposed to be always a bit more warm yeah so if you don't if you you know in the winter or you get sorry, very pale you get pale yeah you need it's less what it's supposed to be in a way so yeah. your skin is missing of this warmth mm -hmm. you need to bring it back a little yeah that's the only difference and do you think that can be done in the concealer or do you mean no, the other, I wouldn't the other do tones? It. Yeah, I wouldn't do it with concealer because you have a beautiful skin. We want to keep your skin natural. We don't want to put any heavy things on it. So I would do it like with maybe this sort of bronzer cream, bring a little bit of apricot tone on the outside of the face. That's something I don't do, you know. And also because we're going to do matte lips, I want the skin to be very dewy. Yes. So just like go, you know, around a little bit on the cheeks and you can go on the nose. So I didn't put any concealer on the nose. Mm -hmm. I like to see a bit of your freckles. Mm -hmm. And it gives this optical illusion that you're not wearing anything. Super nice. God, that product is lovely. It brings a skin texture that is your own. And at the same time, it's a bit abricot. It's not like a terracotta or something that will be a bit gray, ashy. Yeah. This one, when you put it on the skin, you're like, oh, it looks very abricot. It is apricot, yeah. But it's actually, when you have yellow undertone, you need to bring a bit of pink Mm. in your skin tone to balance. Mm -hmm. Look alive, because I do get very washed out in the winter months. I have winter the months. same, yeah. You want to do the pink blush? I'm just going to have it right where when you smile, it's going to show the, you know, the apple. So I'm not going to put it on the bone here, mm -hmm. really just on the flesh. Mm -hmm. And all these textures make your skin so beautiful. Mm. Yeah, you see, you just like... It also, like, it doesn't look, like you said, it is pink, but it doesn't look like bright pink on my no. skin. It, it just warms up my skin, exactly, exactly like you said. I'm going to use now the highlighter. This one, I just apply it here to enhance even more. And I'm going to go a bit on the brow bone, bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow always. Always. <laughs> bit the chin. 
And then in the corner of the eyes. Mm. I mean, your eyes are more light than mine. Like, you have a big eyelid and then a thin line of lash. We need to bring a bit of depth to have our eyes pop. And so what I do is I put like a brown eye pencil in the lash line and above, and that to me gives this sort of like pop in the eye. So I kind of like do this on my hand before applying it to make sure I warm it up. Also because I'm gonna go in your lash line, so I don't want this to hurt you. Yeah. So I'm basically lifting the eyelid so I can go both in the lash line and right above. So now I'm gonna just blend to, you know, make it much more natural. So I always have, honestly, this guy with me because I just like do oh, this. nice. <laughs> Up. And then I can clean whatever I need. The pencil kind of went on this lash, bottom lash line mm -hmm. and with the Q-tip I removed a little bit, mm -hmm. but not too much because I kind of like the shadow. Thing. The shadow, yeah. yeah. So it gives you like a natural overlook. Mm. So I'm gonna use this eye pencil as a base. I'm just gonna put randomly in the center and then I'm gonna blend all over. And the fact that I start in the center will help me build up a little bit more coverage with this product in the center. Mm -hmm. And I always like to do this because then I kind of have a highlight of, it's not flat. And I'm gonna use the same texture for the bottom. And even if there is a bit of brown coming down again, because at the beginning it kind of needs time to dry. Mm -hmm. So you might have a bit of brown coming down. I just blend with the pink. Then I'm gonna go with this sort of burgundy, brownish purpley color. And just go by the lash line in the outside corner more and then blend with my finger right there. I like to never think too hard of a shape. And then in the lash line, I'm gonna put the pink. I mean, I call it the pink, but I, I think it's a, a copper burgundy now that I see on you. And for the shape of your eye, I'm gonna make sure I have a bit of this dark color going really on the outside corner mm. and kind of pull the eyes out. You just like kind of brush it out like this. It has to be like sort of a, a V, so a bit from the bottom line, a bit here. Very, very discreet shadow is kind of doing this. Yeah, very, very discreet, but it just, it complements yeah. the shape of the eyes, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Now mascara. Okay, I kind of pull the lash line up mm -hmm. so I can really go in the roots and really put like a tons of cream there. Mm -hmm. And then my nail is going to become like a sort of a protector. <laughs> Basically some color. Mm -hmm. And with my finger I like to do this. But it's not a texture. I like to have the mask close to put lipstick on because I can see your shape. And I know most of the women, they will have the mouth open when they paint their lips. Mm -hmm. But you cannot really see your shape you do that. And sometimes when you, in, uh, you are doing the design part of the lips, look which side you like the most because it's not going to be the different. Yeah, they, they're both quite different. It's, yeah, which is totally normal. Okay, and then I'm going to add the pink. So you could leave it like this, mm -hmm. which is already an amazing color on you. I'm just going to go here in the inside and pat it. And then same bit here. You'll see it'll give like a rose petal effect. Oh wow. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of blush right there. And then that's the gloss from the collection. So I'm just gonna have it on the eyelid. Putting on the cheeks. You look amazing. I absolutely love it. Doesn't it? A good red Yeah, lip and like what you're wearing outfit. today that is super simple. It's perfect mm. actually because, you know, you have your hair like natural and then this like just your jeans and it makes then this look be okay. Yeah. If you were wearing like a gown or something, be like, okay, it's nice for a glam look, but yeah. I always like a good balance. Definitely. Me too. That that kind of justifies being able to wear such an intense exactly. look like this is wearing it with something casual. Exactly. Um, I love it. Cool. Thank you so much. Maybe I'll show you one thing. Please do. If you want to soften the lip shape, mm -hmm. you can take a brush. You know, you're just going to brush the line 
to give what I call the French look. So delicate. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very delicate and it gives such a... Um, I don't know, it makes everything feels a bit softer. Mm. It, I feel like it's like sexy. It is. As I always say, like my favorite outfit is white t-shirt, like boyish, yes. high-res jeans, messy hair and intense lip like this. Love. Let's see Suri's reaction to your <laughs> yeah. makeup. Hey, baby girl. <gasps> <laughs> she loves the camera. <laughs> she does. You're so cute. 